Alright guys, I'm JC4 and we're here with Silver. Now I went ahead and I leveled everyone up, everyone up using the um, little level modifier like I said. Now that didn't exactly have the most consistent results, so some of them are going to be a little bit closer to uh, 41 than the others. And that's because of things like, for instance, I knocked out a mill tank and it gave me over 4,000 experience. As for if I knocked out a Geodude, it would give me like 1,800 experience. So, it's all over the place, but everyone's basically a level 40, and they're about to go up further. From there, we also have... If it would go left. Um, I want to say he learned... Yeah, he learned Dream Eater leveling up. I figured to let him have it, because as of this point, that is the strongest uh, Psychic-type attack we have. Here are his little stat totals for this. Then we go on to Stone Sour. I decided to let him have Earthquake anyway, because I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, we wouldn't really be getting... Oh, he learned Faint Attack leveling up, too. He learned Faint Attack leveling up. I let him learn Earthquake, because I figured there was no point in keeping Mimic, because I'm like, well, whatever he mimics, we gotta try and out-predict him, since he's slower. So if I saw that, like, um, someone used Hyper Beam, and I wanted to mimic... Well, not Hyper Beam. Uh, let's say Surf, and I wanted to mimic that... I would have to predict that they would use Surf before I used Mimic. Other words, it won't work. Hyper Beam's about the only chance that that would be good for, but I didn't really consider that until now. And even then, that's not a permanent move. We taught him Ice Punch, as I said. Here are his stats, too. Uh, we went ahead and we taught him Iron Tail because Smog would not really get replaced with anything else better, so I figured, fuck it, it makes for a nice rock counter. There are his stats, her stats. Uh, we, you saw that it learned Future Sight leveling up. In other words, no real change there. And, yeah, no real change there either. But that is everyone leveled up all their moves, all their uh, stats as well. So you got to see we want to open this, believe it or not, with Stone Sour. Um, I pulled all the items out from the inventory that we've been picked up along the way. Uh, went ahead and stacked up on lemonades just for safety's sake. So we got all the lemonades we need, plenty of full heals, plenty- I got extra revives just in case, because I assumed I was going to get my ass whipped. Then this stuff down here is all stuff we collected along the way, just in case, never know, may need it. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. I did consider teaching Sudowoodo Dynamic Punch so it had a better fighting move, but that's not really reliable as it's only 50% accurate. Anyway. Let's go ahead and start this train wreck. Now I will go ahead and warn you in advance, I am going to be stopping at some point during the dialogue after I beat the Elite Four because the game will save automatically. So I'm going to cut and then continue on as if nothing happens, but when the audio jumps, you know why. First up... Welcome to the po- yeah, the Pokemon League Gold. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful, and at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. See, now you would think starting out with Gygus would be a good idea, but just in case, I'd rather play it safe, do Stone Sour, go ahead and Rock Slide the Zatu just to make absolutely sure. No guarantee that Gygus can outspeed it. I know he's super fast and all that, but, like, you never know. And, um, he's weak to Psychic. Who'd have guessed? So putting him up against the Psychic type isn't exactly the smartest idea. And on top of that, Zatu has Psychic itself, meaning it's gonna hurt like hell. The code's off, as you can see, I'm not getting anything. I don't have any cheats on as of this point, though I will need to turn some on soon, later. Alright, Exeggutor, we want to use... Hotshot for that one? I think. I had a specific way I did this, so this way everyone got the time in the sun, but I just can't quite remember who, how it was. But, yeah, I want to say it was Hotshot. Which, once he hits 41, he'll go ahead and learn a Fire Flamethrower, which is... Something I'm looking forward to, but 
he didn't exactly get the... Like, I was kind of hoping everyone was going to level up the same way he did, where it's like, okay, just that little tiny bit. But then the last two got, like, huge, huge buffs, so it didn't quite work out, but it's alright. Anyway, uh, it, we kind of lucked out by so far having a bunch of dual types, so we don't really got to worry too much. And then next, Slow Bro tries to counter the Magmar, which then we can use Lita for, which is what I want. See, because that's how I got it. I got this all mapped out in my brain head. Now, I've also been thinking about whether or not we want Lita to learn Solar Beam, because that would be more than twice as powerful as Razor Leaf, and Gen 2's kind of shit and doesn't really have good options as far as Grass-type moves. So I'm not really sure if I should keep Razor Leaf or if I should ditch it for Solar Beam. It's kind of a really weird thing, because, like... Jinx, and yeah, there's another one. Uh, no, I wanted to use Hop Tart for Executor and Hot Shot for Jinx. Oh well, so what do we counter Jinx with? I guess we can try Gigas for this one and then probably hate ourselves when he dies. But that was the plan. I was trying to remember, I was like, can't he kill something else? But I couldn't quite remember what it was. So, thankfully he had speeds it, and I don't remember if Ghost is. I think it is, which is good. It doesn't matter. It's one shot. It's dead. It's over. I'm not going to be focused too concerned on who gets what level ups just as long as the Elite Four member is knocked out. Um, who do I want to knock out this last statue? We can let Pokey slow do it, I guess. With that new fangled ice punch he's got. But basically, we're just trying to like get everyone around. Um, I'm trying to think what I was saying. Yeah, because he's got, like, more experience than he needs to as well. I was surprised, because I was knocking out Deli Birds that were giving out 4,000. I was like, you know, for a Pokemon that's considered not shit, that's given a lot of experience, and that was the record. And then Miltank beat it with, like, 4,300. Then Tauros beat that with 4,600. And, um, Miltank and Tauros are found at the root before Mumu. So, any indication, you know, between Ekritik and uh, Olivine, so any indication on how that's supposed to work is pretty good. I was also kind of thinking about I was like, I wonder if Entei would show up during this. How awkward would that be? And then I considered the idea that Entei always runs away. Which apparently, I'm under the understanding that all three legendary cats can show up and be caught. I'm not doing that. We're going to go get Entei and that'll probably be about it. Firstly, I'm not about to hunt down all three. Secondly, it's much more infuriating doing the other two without the Master Ball. And I'm pretty sure you don't get extra Master Balls in this game, so that furthers the reason for no. But yeah, just so you know that much. I can't believe it! Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now go ahead and move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. See, now I always remember, because I'm guilty of this too, as a kid, everyone was like, yeah, you, you want to be a gym leader. But, I feel like being a gym leader in real life would kind of be crap, because you're pretty much coerced into losing to make other people better, and it's like, I don't want to do that. I want to show you that I'm the fucking best, and that's it. So I think if I were to pick something, I'd rather be a member of the Elite Four because it's like, I'm so good, you can't beat me, you know? That's what I would rather be. We want to keep Stone Star up front, it don't matter. I thought about moving Poke Slow down, but eh. Now I like this real quick. This is awesome. I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in Shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. Pokemon is not about merely brute force. You shall see soon enough. Alright, so, yes, same Koga that was the, uh, Fuchsia City Gym Leader in Kanto. I like that. I think that's super cool. It also shows that it's like, yeah, he got better. 
But he starts out with the Ariados, which is I was like, yeah, keep Stone Sour up front, it's fine. He's pretty easy. There's only one real thing he can do that would make you not want to switch out. But I've kind of already blew that one for him. He'll try and baton pass um, over to his fortress here. And if his fortress lays out spikes, then you don't really want to switch. But if you can go ahead and knock out the fortress before it's too late, you don't really got to worry about that. So we can pretty much switch everything around. You could also just take the damage and be a man about it. I just don't feel like wasting any more items for unnecessary stuff. So if he had laid out those spikes, I just would have said screw it. That's pretty much it. Which, Fortress is definitely not a poison type. But it kind of goes with the uh, idea of how he fights. We can go ahead and let... Should we let Hop Tar do it? We can let Gygus do it. Let's let Gygus do it. Because if he's going to use a pure poison type, that's probably going to use something like Sludge on me. We want to have something that can counter it. And it's also kind of helpful to have something like Dream Eater on here, too. So, there you go. That worked out beautifully. Because on the when I was doing the 3DS run, he laid out Spike, so I just basically had Gygus take as much of it, as much of them out as he could without me having to switch. So, that worked out pretty well, but I think he killed at least two of my guys. I was considering using Hoptart because I was like, well, I, I always forget. Because with Grimer and Coughing, I want to say one special defense and the other's physical defense. And I think it's Cough, whichever one it, I think it's like Coughing's special. And he has Levitate, which means you couldn't physical an Earthquake anyway. Which would mean Grimer would be the sp oh, I don't really know. It always confuses me. And he's got his Venomoth again, which we can let Hoptart take this one out since we already had Hotshot do a fight. We haven't let Hoptart had her, his, her, which is his chance in the spotlight yet. Now, as mentioned with Future Sight, though, it will not be super effective. It's just there to be like, yeah, I did a, I did a move, and that's pretty much it. Good, don't hit me with that, please. But I really like the idea that they threw in Koga, and it's also kind of like... Because this is supposed to be the Indigo Plateau, the same Cantu Elite 4, which also shows that Lorelei is no longer a part of it as well. So it's like, okay, you can see some changes. And then the idea that uh, Koga is in it is kind of cool, because he's a Kanto guy. What do we want to do Crobat, then? We can laugh Poke Slow do it, because it's either him or Lita. Those are the only two that haven't been used yet, and I'd rather have Poke Slow do it than Lita. The uh, question is, I think Ice Punch is a better idea than, um, what do you call it? Confusion. Because I want to say I tried that. I don't understand the fucking damage, cal damage calculation bullshit. I won't even lie. Because if I use Confusion now, it might kill it, but it won't do nearly as much damage as Ice Punch. But if you think Stab, it would make them basically equal power, meaning they should both do about the same damage. I don't know. I don't get it. It's weird. Anyway, that's Koga down. Ah, you have proven your worth. I subjected you to everything I could muster. But my efforts failed, I must hone my skills. Go on now to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Also, it's kind of funny thinking about the fact that he's the Elite Four when the Elite Fours are in their level 40s. And it's like, hey look. You were around that area when you were the Fuchsia City Gym Leader. So, you didn't really have to change much. Alright, so what does the next one start with? Okay, I remember. How do I want to start this then? Um. I don't want to do Hop Tart. I think it's best to start with Poke Slow, actually. Because I know a certain move the next one has. 